What better time to film a hair video than when you're having a terrible hair day? <laughs> Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you some of my favourite hair products. As always, everything is vegan and cruelty free. Before I get into my favourites, I figured I should explain to you a little bit about my hair. I have very fine hair. I don't have thin hair because I do have many hairs on my head, but I have very fine hair. The ends of my hair are also lightened. There's not actually that much left now because I've been trimming it off slowly, but anything that is a little bit lighter, that has just been lightened many, uh, many moons ago. And then all of this is my natural hair color. It is not colored in any way. My natural hair texture is wavy. Um, some bits are curly. There's like a chunk in the back that's straight. My hair grows extremely slowly. And in order to get any kind of fullness in the ends, I do have to keep trimming it. Otherwise it does get very, very kind of thin looking at the ends. But that is also probably because the ends are lightened. So they're more damaged, they're gonna break. And hopefully once I've cut all of the uh, light stuff off, I'll just be smooth sailing. So because my hair is so fine, I do have some issues with getting volume. When I tie my hair into a ponytail, the ponytail is like this big. Like I have friends who have more than half of their head shaved and their ponytail is bigger than mine. <laughs> so definitely I want things that are gonna thicken my hair. I want things that aren't gonna make my hair just kind of flat and almost too slinky. I don't want my hair to be too slinky. So just to keep that in mind when I'm showing you these products, that is the intended purpose for them, or at least my concerns that I use these for anyway. And uh, I'm concerned about my tea also. So I'm just gonna go through them in the order in which I would apply them, so from washing my hair onwards. So as a shampoo, I have been using the last few times I've washed my hair, I've been using the Lush Scenic Shampoo Solid. This tin is from one of their massage bars, um, but I figured there was no point buying a special round one just for the shampoo. Prior to this, I was using the Pacifica, is it long and strong or strong and long? Shampoo and conditioner, really love them still. I do have a whole video on Pacifica hair care, so I will link that because I still love all of those products. But I decided I wanted to try a solid just to kind of avoid creating more waste, more packaging. So um, a lot of you did recommend this. Again, this is the Scenic Shampoo Solid. I don't really know what it smells like, it just smells clean, like clean ocean. So anyway, I get my hair wet, I will get this damp and lather it in my hands. There's no problem getting this to lather, there is a lot of nice foam to it. And then obviously I will just shampoo my hair as normal. So I had kind of thought before I had tried this solid that it would be really difficult to get your hair clean because like how are you going to get enough like lathering in your hair? And I kind of was like, do you have to like rub it in? Is that gonna damage your hair? No, you just rub it between your hands. Your hands will get a lot of bubbles on them and then you use that on your head. So if you did have very short hair, you could probably just like scrub this straight on your head to be honest, but I really do like it. I've also not been using a conditioner with it. I've just been rinsing my hair with very cold water. I know some people like to do like an apple cider rinse. So if you do that, let me know like why and how you do that. So yeah, really liking this shampoo solid right now. Gets my hair very clean, doesn't dry out too much, and I find it just helps me get a little bit more volume by using this and then a very cold rinse afterwards to kind of seal the um, cuticle or whatever. So yeah, Scenic Shampoo Bar from Lush. Okay, so what do I do next? So when I get out of the shower, there are two products that I will put through my hair before I even put it up in a towel. So I will squeeze out any excess water, just with my hands, I'm not like rubbing it, I'm just like squeezing the water out. So I then apply the, I don't even know how you say this, is it just Evolve? Evolve H? Evolve? Huh. This is the Smart Volume Leave-In Conditioner and it is to thicken. So I spray this through, all throughout my hair really. I don't focus it a ton on the ends of my hair, mostly the roots and mid lengths, and then I will just comb that through with my fingers. I find this definitely does help to give me volume without my hair getting too dry. It definitely does create volume while still conditioning, so I really do like this, and I have to use the smallest amount because my hair is so fine. I don't need very much. And I have also found that because I have fine hair, I do really like products that I can put on my hair wet, and I find that that really does help. Rather than drying it and then putting products through because I find that my hair gets very weighed down then. So for some reason applying it wet seems to help me. I don't know if there's like some science behind that but that's what I found anyway so I really do like this. And this was a sample so who knows when I'll actually have to buy a full size one because I don't have to use very much. 
And then through the ends of my hair, focusing on any bits that are lighter or um, dyed, any damaged bits, so like around my bangs, I will put the Pacifica Native Flower Nourishing Hair Oil through that. I think I just do like one, maybe two pumps, but I make sure that I work it through my hands first and then I will run it through. So I'm not just putting like a blob in one area. It's really evenly distributed then and I find that does help. If I do want my hair to be very straight and sleek, I might skip this out and then just use this, but generally I do use the two combined. So I apply a little bit of this, work it through my hair, and then I will flip my hair upside down and put it up in my Aquis hair towel, which I love, I should have brought it down to show you, but lots of you have seen it before. I will put a little, you know, picture up here if I can. And then I'll go ahead and do my makeup or I don't know, whatever other things I need to do. Leave my hair up in that towel for basically as long as I can. Sometimes it's like 10 minutes, sometimes it's like 45 minutes to an hour. And then when I do take my hair down, most of the moisture has already been taken out, which is really awesome. Means it cuts down on how much I'm having to hair dry my hair. And yeah, love that towel. And I have had other hair towels as well and just not found them to be as effective. So love the Aquis hair towel. If I am gonna use a hair dryer on my hair, I will first of all spray through some of the Giovanni Avocado and Olive Oil Ultra Moist Dual Action Protective Leave-In Spray for dry damaged hair. I just find it helps to add the tiniest bit of moisture without being heavy and helps to protect it from the heat, so I really do love that. Again, if I do want particularly voluminous hair or just to have a lot of texture and wave, I will use the Pacifica Ginger Root 10 in One Hair Volumizer. It says that it adds volume, thickens appearance, extends style, pollution protection, and weightless feel, oil control support vitamins and antioxidants, adds dimension, encourages healthy hair, and it has scalp stimulating extracts. I like to think that this was named after me, even though I know that it wasn't, but I do have ginger roots, so <clears throat> it fits. Really good at getting volume for me because it doesn't add a lot of weight. Um, some volumizing things that you're meant to use on your roots I find make my hair even more kind of like lank and <laughs> And I'll also sometimes spray this through the rest of my hair, it, just if I want a little bit of extra texture or scrunch. And if I am going to let my hair air dry, I might just spray a little bit of this through as well, just to kind of help encourage some of the wave or curl. So I really do like that for volume and texture, I guess. And then once my hair is styled, if I feel like the ends of my hair need a little bit more shine, I will do this if I've straightened my hair or curled my hair. I use a little bit of the Giovanni Frisbee Gone. Again, you need the tiniest amount of this. I probably use like half of a pump. Um, when I do use it, again, rub it between my hands and then just smooth it through the hair where it looks like it needs it. So I'll generally avoid like this portion of my hair and just work it through the ends. I don't know if any of you guys have also had like the balayage or ombre hair color, but you might find that the ends of your hair end up having a different texture to the kind of like mid lengths just because they're damaged or dyed. So I find that this really helps to even that out. If you do get a lot of frizz or just kind of like dry looking hair, this is an awesome product. Like I said, you need to use the tiniest amount and yeah, I really recommend it. It's gonna last you forever. And then for hairspray, I have mentioned this recently, but I've been using the Paul Mitchell Express Dry Stay Strong Express Dry Strong Hold Hairspray. That's too long. It's a very strong hold hairspray. You can spray it through very lightly from a little bit further away and then brush it through if you do want some movement still. But like with these portions of my hair, I can hold them in the place that I want them, spray a little bit, let go, and it will just keep that shape. I also find this good to add a little bit of texture as well, just because it is a tiny bit kind of gritty, and it's an awesome hairspray. Definitely not a kind of natural light hold hairspray. It's a strong hold hairspray, but I love it. And then I just have a couple of extra things that I want to show you. One is the Caney Sea Surf Beach Wave Spray, which is jasmine and sandalwood scent. I actually really enjoy sea salt sprays, but again, some of them are a little bit too heavy. Some might have like oils in them as well and make my hair really heavy. This does have coconut oil and some other awesome stuff in, but I find it still is very light on my hair. It gives it texture without being too heavy. I'm gonna put some in now. And as you can see, it just makes it a little bit more kind of PC and definitely helps those kind of shorter layers like define themselves a little bit. The other reason I like to use this is because it smells incredible. I don't know what kind of witchcraft Kaney use for the scent of their products because they all just smell 
incredible. Again, I think it's the jasmine. I think I really love jasmine. And I would just use this as a hair perfume, to be honest. It adds texture. I really like it. Doesn't make my hair dry. Doesn't make it too oily. And it's a really good kind of texturizer, especially if you want something more natural, because this has very natural ingredients. So, great texturizer, sea salt spray. I've said the rest already. So I probably wash my hair anywhere between every two days to every four or five days, just depending on what I've been doing to it and how much dry shampoo I've been using. My favorite dry shampoo, which I heard of via Tashina, and I'm eternally grateful, so thank you, is the Dry Bar Detox Dry Shampoo. I love powdery dry shampoos. They have gotta be powdery or I find them pointless. I know there are some that are like, clear, doesn't leave a white residue, but to me, if there's no white powder going in my hair, then it's not gonna deal with the oil. So I love this because you could spray this through your hair like for Halloween to like look like a, I don't know, antique human or something. This stuff comes on strong. You need to use the tiniest amount, only use it in the areas that you get most oily. So I will use it anywhere I want to retain volume. So around like the crown and maybe a little bit through here just cause that tends to get a little bit oilier quicker. So I will use this in the mornings if I am kind of oily. I also use it at night, which is another thing I learned from Tashina. I'm sorry, I'm giving away all of your secrets. Put a little bit of this in at night before you go to bed. Just work it through with your fingers a little and then tie your hair up. And when you let your hair down the next day, you don't have that like weird stuck to your head oily hair thing happening. Does anyone else get that? So I use this before bed. I will use it in the mornings if I need to kind of freshen up my hair. And also if I've just washed my hair and it feels too clean to get any kind of like texture or volume, I might use a little bit of it then too. If I'm gonna use it in the mornings, I tend to use it before I get in the shower. So I'll spray it through my hair and then I put my sexy shower cap on. And once I've showered and everything, I'll take my hair down, brush through it and it's pretty much like a whole new head of hair. So love this, love this combo, use it all the time. And then last, but certainly not least, is the Uma Intensely Nourishing Hair Oil. You guys know that I love Uma oils. I think they are some of the most luxurious, effective oils out there. I will say this does smell a little bit herby, but as you can see, it hasn't stopped me from using it. So I love to use this as a treatment especially if I've been kind of a little bit of a dick to my hair. Do you know what I mean? Like I've heat styled it too much or I've used like too many different products in it, too much hairspray that's dried it out. I will rub a little bit of this into my scalp before I get in the shower. So I will rub it all the way through and really just kind of use it and really just kind of use it like as a head massage. And then I also will mix a little bit in a bowl with some coconut oil and sometimes avocado oil jojoba, whatever kind of oils I can get my hands on. I will mix some of this in with other oils and then use that as a hair mask, so like as a coconut oil treatment. And I do definitely think this like brings something of its own to the uh, hair party. So I would really recommend this if you need a scalp treatment, if you have dermatitis or eczema on your head, I would really recommend this. Like I said, I use it as a kind of like additive in my oily hair masks. I find it works really well. You could run a little bit through the ends of your hair if you needed to, but that's just how I like to use it. So great for your hair and your scalp. Um, kind of a great all rounder because it takes care of everything. So love it. So I think that is it for hair products. Like I said, the only thing else I wanted to mention was the other Pacifica shampoo and conditioner I've been using. That was in my what's in my shower video as well as in the specific Pacifica hair care video. But I have really been enjoying this since I've been trying it. Like I said, I think I've used it like about three times now. Really love it. So yeah, I'm sure to some people that seems like way too many products. Other people probably use more, but this is just what I find works for me and how I manage to kind of avoid washing my hair too often, which is, that's really what it's all about, isn't it? So everything I've mentioned will be listed below in the description box along with links to where you can buy it. If you are buying anything from any big stores, be sure to sign into Ebates first to get your cash back. If you're like me, you probably forget, so let this be your reminder. Let me know what your favorite vegan cruelty-free hair products are along with like why you like them for your own hair type so that we can all kind of share and find other things that might work out. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.